happy Tuesday. I hope you had a great holiday weekend. Um, today, I have been getting lots and lots of questions about uh, this new stencil system that I have. And so I wanted to give you guys the uh, crash course. So we're kind of learning here together. I have made stencils, but this is a couple of step process. And so things have to be precise in order to um, have get the best results. So what I want to show you, this is the Icon Art Stencil System. So I, I unboxed it last week in case you missed that. Um, it all come, everything you need comes together. So what this does is it allows you to create uh, reusable stencils at home with the designs you already have. So um, you don't, you're not using the Silhouette cutting machine, but you can, and I would suggest that you use your Silhouette software. So what I have done is I have created um, well, I haven't actually created, but I have imported um, a couple of designs from, I don't know if you can see that, hopefully you can see that, um, a couple of designs, these are SVGs, you could also have designs um, that you have on your computer, they could be a studio file, could be a PNG, could be a JPEG, it could be from your Silhouette Studio library, so really the advantage here is that you are able to use designs that you already have um, to create reusable stencils at home. The awesome thing about this is that the way that it creates it, it's like a mesh, a very thin mesh. You're not gonna be able to see this, but we're gonna do the start to finish. And so what happens is you don't have those areas um, that fall out. So where you would normally have, this is the actual stencil itself. I don't know if you can see, but where you would have like the middle of those letters, it doesn't fall out. There's nothing on the back of this right now. You can see it's adhesive on the back, um, but you're creating this at home. And previous systems to this that I've looked into require a uh, laser printer or different types of things. You can use this system with a, an inkjet printer or a laser printer. It comes with everything that you need. So it's really cool. So what I have done, every, your, your design, when you bring it into Silhouette Studio, if you don't use Silhouette Studio because you're coming from where, somewhere else, Cricut, whatever, you can, um, you just need to make sure that you are using a software program that you can print to your printer. So the reason that I like Silhouette Studio is obviously a, a bajillion reasons that we don't have time to name, but we are, all of us, most of us already use the software. The one thing that you need to keep in mind is that your design needs to be solid black. Dark gray doesn't work. Colors don't work. So if you're gonna eventually paint your stencil with multiple colors, that's totally fine. But the emulsion process requires that you um, print your design in black. So you can see that everything I have here is solid black. So what we're gonna do, again, this comes with everything you need. So this is the inkjet printer film. This is the laser printer film. I don't have a laser printer, so I don't need to use this. So it comes with five sheets. One thing to keep in mind, depending on the size of your stencil, you can put multiple designs on your sheet. So here's one that I did yesterday, and I'm actually saving it because I could use this again to make another stencil. You can see I have it, it's backwards, just like heat transfer vinyl would be, okay? If it has text, that's super important. Um, but you could print, if you have multiple designs and your stencils were small enough, you could put multiple on a sheet, all right? Now, one thing, that um, I should point out is that this is the eight and a half by 11 version. There is a uh, larger paper as well, okay? So, but it will depend obviously on the size of your printer. Okay, so I already have my sheet of, um, I already have my sh printer sheet film in my printer because it's on the other side of the room. You wanna make sure that you're printing. Um, it, it's difficult to tell in the video, but one side is kind of cloudy and one side is a little more slick. You wanna print on the more cloudy side, okay? So we're, I already have mine in there. So from Silhouette Studio, I'm just going to click the print um, icon and I'm going to send this to prints. Now one um, trick is you wanna make sure that even though you have your design filled with black, set it to print in black and white so that you get the most solid black. You wanna set your paper type to a glossy, okay? You wanna take everything else out of your printer to give your print the best possibility of getting picked up and you want the quality to be best because that gives you the densest um, print, okay? And then we'll send this to print and hopefully my printer cooperates. You know how these printers can sometimes be finicky. Um, so I'm sending it to print and I just have two designs. I have that, hopefully you 
sounds like it's gonna print, let's see. So it's telling me that I'm low on ink, which is uh, par for the course for my printer. Okay, so it's gonna print here. Then the next step that we need to do is we need to get the actual stencil film, okay? This stuff is not, you're not gonna cut this because what's happening is you're gonna use this emulsion process. This light comes with the kit and wherever your stencil print, the print was, that is where it's going to essentially remove this area. So for this example, this was the printed piece and this is how the stencil came out, okay, see? All right, so mine is printing. We're gonna plug this in. Now, this is very precise. So for, when you're using um, the inkjet, you need to, to have this light on, you'll see in a second, for 35 seconds. If you're using laser, it's 30. So I have a timer that I'm gonna set up um, so that we make sure we get um, the right time. And then we're gonna take a little tour of my house and we're gonna go to my laundry room where I have an industrial uh, sink <laughs> because we need to rinse the printer. I mean, we need to rinse the print. Okay, so now that my print is printing, it's almost done. We have to get the second part of this, which is the stencil film. You wanna leave this in the bag as long as possible because once it's exposed to the light, um, something bad happens. I don't really know if that's true, but you wanna keep it in the, you wanna keep it in here. Also, what you'll find in this bag is a clear sheet that we can get out. You're gonna need this. So essentially what you're gonna do is make a uh, sandwich on here, okay? So let me grab my printed sheet that we just printed. Okay, so here's my sheet. Okay, you can see, okay. You wanna make sure that it's solid black. If you looked up to the light, you wouldn't be able to see through it, all right? Now, what you're gonna do next, again, this is, here's the stencil film. So I used part of that yesterday. Have a sheet of it. You can put multiple sheets on that, multiple stencils on this. So if you need to cut it down, you can. Cut it down before you do this process. Okay, you want, the, there's like a textured side. Not sure if you can hear that. You want that up, okay? And then you're gonna place your design on there. Okay, I hope this works. Did I print on the right side? Okay, oh gosh, this makes me nervous. And then you're gonna place this sheet over top. And you're gonna rub it so it stays together, okay? And then you're gonna turn on the light. Okay, I have my timer set, so this needs to happen for 35 seconds. I really hope this works. Okay, ready? I'm starting my 35 second timer. Now what happens is this is this this is the emulsion process, okay? So when this is done, you're gonna be like, oh my God, is this gonna work? Because it looks like nothing is happening and what, and nothing, on your, even on your sheet, your stencil sheet, it looks like nothing has happened until you go and start rinsing it. And so what happens is once you start rinsing it, some process, magic process is happening right now. Once you start um, rinsing it, you're gonna see that your design, where the black was, the areas of the black are removed from, you need warm, warm. Um, okay, so my 35 seconds is up. I really hope this works. Cause you know while we're live, it never works. Okay, so now I'm gonna take this. Okay, and I'm gonna take my stencil sheet and I'm gonna take you with me and we're gonna go into my laundry room where I have my utility sink. I also don't know what else might be in here. I have tried to clear the laundry so that you're not too scared. What is this? Oh, there's jeans hanging on the back up there somewhere. Oh, okay, cool, that's cool. Okay, so here we are. So this comes with, I'm so sorry for this awkward angle. This comes with your stencil. You're gonna clip it on here, okay? And then you want warm water, okay? This, I've pre-warmed this so that it works. Now hopefully 
you'll be able to see. You can do this for up to three minutes. Oh boy. Did I do I hope I did it right. Hold on. Can you see? You want to evenly spray. It's coming. Okay? I don't know if you guys can see. I can see it's coming, but I don't know if you can. Can you see the design? So it's basically washing out the areas where the ink was. Can you see that? Yeah. So now after this is done, this was what I created here was two different stencils. Once this is done, I'm going to keep doing this because we want it to be like vibrant white. The angle that I have to hold this at so you guys can see is really awkward. You can see it's coming now, so here we go. Um, now, after this is done, this has to sit for about 45 minutes. So obviously we're not gonna sit on here for 45 minutes. But what this is going to then do is dry, then I'll cut this apart and we can use this as a stencil. Now on this white area, oh my gosh, my thumb is getting a cramp. Um, on the white area, as you can see, it takes a few minutes, and obviously, depending on the size of your stencil, it will take longer. There's a backing on this, so you can reuse it, but we are exposing the stencil right now. Again, warm water. So the longest part of this whole process is obviously this water, but if you have a smaller design, it wouldn't take as long, but we, I did, you know, I wanted to use the full sheet. Someone's asking, can you make this process any faster? You can soak the, the um, stencil sheet in warm water, like in a tub, not a tub, but like a, a warm bath, not, not like a tub, bath tub, but like if you had a container that you had warm water, you could soak it in there first and, and it does speed up this process, okay? Yesterday, it didn't take me nearly as long because I just had a ver that very small design I showed you guys. Um, what did I show it to you? The little one that I showed you, the home craft quote, that came as an example so you could see what your design should look like. But I did another one yesterday. So, if you are interested in making stencils, a lot of people who have silhouettes are using vinyl or Oracle stencil material. And the disadvantage to that is that you have to transfer your design. So anything that has like the, the middle of the letters or whatever, they all fall out, okay? Unless you use some type of transfer. But because of that, that makes those stencils one-time use. This is, is impossible for you guys to see it, especially at this point, but the areas that are white right now, they are a mesh. And so the paint goes right through them. So I'm gonna show you. So here's our stencil. Okay, so I'm just gonna dab it dry a little bit. Okay, and then it will, up here. okay, so this, oh, oh jeans, that's lovely. So this is our stencil, okay, it has a backing on it. Someone's asking, could I just use the faucet? You really wanna spray. 
you really want to spray it, okay? So we're gonna let this dry for about 45 minutes, and then um, you just have to put it back under that emulsion light for um, two minutes. That just like stabilizes the design itself because right now, like I said, it's on a backing, and so this backing you can keep so that you can save your stencils. Um, but th this is obviously two different designs. So you can see that would be one, like if I wanted to put on a wood sign, wherever you want to put it. This is good for hard goods. There's also another stencil material. This one's the, obviously blue, but there's one that's similar that's purple that you can buy as an add-on kit, and that it would be for textiles if you wanted to, to put on a shirt or a towel or something like that, okay? All right, so you can see that all of this is staying together, and once it's done for 45 minutes, I have to hang this or lay it flat to dry so that all the water drips off of it and you can't just like dry it with a towel. Um, then you can use your stencil, all right? All right, you guys, so hopefully, um, if you are a big stencil wood sign maker, if you're interested in making reusable stencils, custom reusable stencils at home, this is an awesome, awesome system um, that comes with everything you need. I got you 15% off if you wanna use the code up top, SIL school, the code's up top along with the link. It's good for anything in the shop. So if you already have the system and you need some additional um, film or stencil material, you can use that to, to save a little bit as well, okay? All right, you guys, I hope you have a great rest of your day. I'll see ya.